I'm Anna Maria De Freitas. I'm the owner of the Harrison House Suites, the Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, Salmon Island, Washington State. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a raspberry stuffed French toast. So I have some cubes of bread. Day-old stale bread is, is great. You want the bread to have a little bit of uh, texture. And if it's dry, it's great because then it'll absorb all the wonderful goodness of the egg mixture and then your stuffing. So you can use a ramekin for an individual portion or you can use a large casserole dish depending on how many you're serving. This is a great recipe to do for a brunch or a breakfast, a holiday breakfast if you have a lot of guests because so much of this can be done the day before. So line the bottom of your ramekin with your bread cubes and then we're going to do an egg mixture that we're going to pour on top. So I have two eggs, a little cream, a splash of triple sec, you can use Grand Marnier, you can use vanilla, any kind of flavoring. I thought the orange and the raspberry would be a really nice combination. A little pinch of cinnamon, and then whisk. Okay. So now I'm going to pour a little of the egg mixture on top of my bread cubes. You want to make sure that they're covered well. I prefer to do this the day before so that this can sit in the refrigerator overnight and then bake it the day of. It lets all the flavors marry and then it makes sure all the bread is nicely soaked in. Just like if you were making a bread pudding or a strata. Okay. So I have a, a little filling mixture here. This is some regatta cheese, a little bit of sugar, uh, some, a little bit of orange zest, and I just whisk it together. You could use goat cheese, you could use cream cheese, lots of options for the filling. So I'm going to spread that on top of my bread mixture. And then I'm going to add some raspberries. I have a little raspberry sauce I'm going to put down first. And then some fresh raspberries. You could use, if you have frozen raspberries and you had a raspberry sauce, you can use those as well. So, and you can use a variety of things. I've you know, chosen to use raspberries. You could use strawberries. You could use blueberries. Caramelized apples, pears would be lovely as well. So whatever fruit of the season you have would work just as well. Okay, so we're going to top it off with some more bread. And you can see I'm pushing down to make sure that it's going to be well moistened. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of that egg mixture on the top. Then I'm going to cover this with saran and let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like after it sits. Okay, so here you have one that I've let sit overnight and you can see how the bread has really gotten um, melded in with the milk mixture and the egg, milk and egg mixture and also with the filling. So I'm going to top this off with a little bit of a crisp topping. It's just butter, flour, sugar, brown sugar and white sugar, a little cinnamon, nutmeg, and some nuts, and then a little bit of oatmeal. So I'm just going to top it off. And then now this is ready to go into the oven. Let it bake for about 30 to 40 minutes until the custard sets. And you'll sort of see the bread sort of just rise up a little bit outside of the ramekin, and then it's going to fall down as soon as it comes out of the oven, as, or as soon as it cools down a little bit. And then they hold their heat quite well, so it gives you a little bit of time to serve everybody, and it works perfect for a buffet because the ramekin does hold the heat. So I've plated it just with a, a trio of berries, and then there's the raspberry stuffed French toast. Bon appetito. Mm -hmm.